Hi there, Spark fans. Rob Reynolds here. Vibration has always been an important part of my life. Random? Uh, perhaps, but stick with me. As a musician, vibration is everything. Change the vibration, change the pitch. Now, as an engineer nerd type, I'm fascinated by the phenomenon where different bodies or objects vibrating at different speeds will, when brought into close proximity, sync to the same frequency. Uh, this is called spontaneous self-organization and can be seen in demonstrations where multiple mechanical metronomes, all set to different tempos or tempi, are placed on a suspended platform. And in my more recherche moments, I may even find myself considering the resonance theory of consciousness. But I'm thinking of vibration today for a completely different reason. We recently hooked up with the good folks over at Dialogue Semiconductor, and from that collaboration came these. The new SparkFun Quick Haptic Driver and SparkFun Quick Haptic Driver Kit. These boards are centered around Dialog's DA7280 Haptic Driver IC. This chip can drive both ERM and LRA actuators, although the vibration motor we ship is only a single axis motor, so you'll need to supply your own actuator to take advantage of the chip's ERM capabilities. The driver can be controlled via I2C, PWM, or a combination of three general purpose input pins. Its wideband LRA driver operates from 25Hz to 1kHz with resonant mode, with frequency tracking support up to 300Hz. And the DA7280 combines an idle current consumption of just 360 nanoamps with low latency trigger inputs to minimize delay after button presses when an application process is in deep sleep. The quick haptic driver comes fully assembled and ready to go. However, if you need your vibration motor to be separate from your electronics, then the quick haptic motor kit comes with the vibration motor separate from the PCB, along with a pair of jumper wires. So you can put the motor anywhere you need in your project. You'll just have to do a little soldering. And speaking of projects, I've got an idea or two that I want to try with these that I didn't have time to get to today. So check back next week and see if I have come up with a glorious success or a glorious failure. Either way, should be fun. So if you're thinking of building a project like, say, a, a bespoke game controller, custom fit to your hands, and you want to add haptic feedback, then you're going to want the new SparkFun Quick Haptic Driver or the Quick Haptic Driver Kit. Head on over to sparkfun.com and pick up yours, and stop back next week to see what I've managed to put together. Until then, remember, be kind, stay safe, and happy hacking. to be separate from your electronics from your electronics cluster. I just didn't have time to do them today. We re ah so close. Whoa, table moves. <laughs> oh yeah, so you should come back and look next week. That's it. Be separate from the electronics cluster. Then the quick haptic driver kit. I'll go back and rewatch it. Hopefully it isn't terrible.